uh, like a little retaining wall. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, just keep keep some of the bugs out, keep some of the boars out. Ayo, ayo, boar. So our party, a team of self-proclaimed monster hunters, has have lost themselves in the woods and are now coming to a clearing and have to set up camp for the night. They don't know where they are. They don't know where their enemies may lie. All they know is that these woods are haunted and they must make camp for the night. What's up, guys? <laughs> We're playing Timber and Stone Season 2. This was the first game. I played here on YouTube, and now we're doing a season two of it. I'm so excited. This is awesome. I picked out a dense forest map. It's just like a forest and, uh, and some hills and mountains around here. And this is going to be an awesome, awesome uh, adventure that we're going to have here. Or not quite adventure, but court, kind of like surviving, kind of like thriving. And uh, yeah, a whole bunch of archery, fighting goblins, fighting skeletons, necromancers, all this kind of stuff. It's going to be awesome. So let's go ahead and continue our story here, or start our story off. We're gonna go ahead and sit camp probably right about here. How about, like, let's do it here. So right at the clearing. Good place for campfires. We've got a whole abundance of trees all around us and some rocks here we can kind of mine. Looks like we have some copper and some iron or coal, something like that right there. So, okay, let's do it. Let's set the cart right here and hopefully we'll, we will survive uh, display tutorials. We don't need no tutorials. Let's begin. And by the way, I'm taking names for this playthrough, so if you guys want to see your names here, just let me know. Alright. And we have done a little bit more wandering, and we've gotten ourselves even further into the forest. Uh, actually, I've just loaded in a new map, but uh, this map is awesome. We got all types of mountains and trees all over here. Really dense, really cool. And alright, so yeah, lots of possibilities here for enemies to go ahead and uh, ambush us, attack us. <laughs> it's a very scary haunted forest. So where the heck are we at? Oh, sounds like we got the fire going. Here we are. Okay, nice. Everyone's waiting by the fire. Very nice. So, so let's go over the classes here. We got a forager, and I pretty much set him to... Uh, I'm not going to go over names now, because I'll be adding your names for these characters eventually. But, uh, but he is foraging, and he is foraging what I told him to gather berries. Dispose of dead, loot dead, hunt boar, harvest wild wheat. Very good. So he's going to go off and do that. He's just going to run around and do his own thing. Told her a wood chopper to go ahead and chop the nearest trees. So there we go. And then what, else, what other classes do we have here? Yes, we have a farmer. We have a carpenter. And yeah, I went ahead and just kind of assigned these all ahead of time. Uh, so I didn't have to like waste too much time finding everyone here. And we got ourselves one warrior. No archers yet, because that's like kind of advanced. Got ourselves a miner and stonemason. And I think that's pretty much all the essentials right now. And a carpenter. Yeah, carpenter is going to be very important. Got to make sure we have tools. Let's go ahead and assign the mining process now because we got to start getting, uh, we got to start making some walls around here in case there's like wolves that like want to attack us. It's very bad. So, all right, let's go ahead and get some mining done here. Uh, I think this is, yeah, let's go ahead for this mining stone right here. This is what I had in mind, but I don't want to dig like too, too much, too, too much of it, because I kind of want to make maybe some of this up, <laughs> and I just, like, grab the whole map. Kind of want to build some of our wall, our back wall, off of, like, this stone here. I think that'd be kind of cool. So we'll have our miner going ahead doing that. She's grabbing the tool now, and I think in the future she's going to be, she's going to be our, uh, what do you call it? Oops. She's going to be our blacksmith, because she's got that, that skill tree kind of good like that. There, where's she at? Where's she at? Yeah, and there she is. Okay, so blacksmith level 3, but she's gonna get there. We're gonna use her for that eventually. And also when you guys give me your names, let me know what classes you prefer. Because I like that. And like maybe even like a little background to your character, where they came from, why they wanted to be a monster hunter, <laughs> and why they wanna decide to make a town in the middle of nowhere, uh, in a very scary place. So we'll see about that. Alright, so... Okay, anything else we need to do? I'm sure there's like a whole ton of stuff. How many seeds do we have right now? That's the thing. Okay, so we have six carrot seeds, six turnip seeds, this is random every time, this is four flax seeds, but we have no cotton, that's annoying. I think, I don't know if we're going to be able to make beds without cotton seeds, and, uh, and like cotton, but it's okay. Alright, so we need some kind of farming going here, so let's try to get like, oh yeah, let's designate like a little farm, <laughs> some carrot farm, turnip farm, ill. No, let's just do carrots, alright, so we'll eat carrots for a while, <laughs> and uh, let's just make it small so it's like easy to maintain, let's just do like a little tiny farm right here, three by three. That sounds innocent enough. We could always move this around later. Just make like a little tiny farm right there. And then let's make like another farm of, so we got the, oh wow, they were used to the carrots. Let's get like a turnip farm right over here. <laughs> Just in the dirt. Yeah, that's right, hoe it up. Hoe it up, girl. There you go. 
and then flax. I'm not even sure about flax. I guess it's good to have a large supply of just like random stuff growing and harvesting. Give them something to do. So there we go. So we got all that kind of cracking away like that. So uh, farmer is busy. Miner is busy. Got to get some tools going here. Our warriors just standing around like, hey, like what? What am I? What am I supposed to do? I don't think they have anything in their inventory. So let's go ahead, make him a club. How I do that? Where's the club? Q. Oh, let's go down here. I think it's in weapons, process materials, hand tools, torches. Oh my goodness, so many. Oh yeah, we'll get the tools in a little bit. Let's make sure we get a club here, just in case we get attacked. Uh, let's actually track it. So we add one to the queue, maintain and storage. This is actually so much nicer than it used to be. This used to be a lot harder to manage all this stuff. I like I like these menus nowadays. It's good. So we got our carpenter going ahead and making the club. You can see it in the queue area. It's being made. So hopefully our warrior is going to pick that club up. Because all it takes is like some wood. So that's easy. Don't even need a workbench. And what else do we need? Oh yes, tools. Tools. Got to make sure we got some tools. Oh my goodness. Because our tools, well, at least the stone tools, are going to break. So we got to make sure we have some stuff. Yeah, let's try to keep track of... Oh, a knife takes ingots. Yeah, that's kind of tough. Let's go with just like a stone pick. Let's track it. Let's always have like one in our inventory. And let's see here. Uh, stone axe definitely. I mean, like, yeah, if our axes break, that's going to be like such a bad. It's going to be like the end of the wood business there. And one more stone hoe. Kind of maintain one of those. And I think. I think that's good for now. We can just like watch it over here. I, I like this track button too. It's very nice. We can just track it and make sure we have enough of it. Don't need to do any hurting. I'm not even sure about torches. Let's just keep it simple for now. Let's just make sure that we don't get eaten by wolves first. How about that? <laughs> that's like that's like more important. So where's our warrior at? Where's he at? Oh look, there's just like stumps left. That's cute. All right, so where's where the did I put him on patrol? Oh no, he's just wandering around. Do you, what do you have, man? Do you have a? You don't have anything. What's in the queue here? We have uh we have a uh, we have a mallet. Go get yourself a mallet, man. Go grab it. And there we go, he's getting this club. You getting it, man? Yes, there he goes, he got it. All right, so I had to make sure I told him to like hold that in his inventory. I was just like, I wasn't really sure about that. Yeah, so main hand, maintain an inventory. I told him one club. So it's a little bit of little bit of micromanagement going around here. But you know what, it's kind of, it's still a good, good old fun time. There we go, so everybody is kind of working away. Got the carpenter doing stuff. Stone Mason is sitting around, I do think. And yes, we have our carpenter. Yeah, he's, he's making a whole bunch of spare stuff. So that's good. I guess he's making another club right now. Okay, he's doing something. That's good. You keep doing stuff. So now, what do we do in this land? Oh, our forager's out over here looking for the berries. How much food do we have right now? That's something I want to track, too. We'll get all the stuff up there so we don't have to, like, track it. Yeah, yeah, food. Let's track that. <laughs> that's very important. Uh, oh, I'll track some raw stone, too. Yeah, let's actually get to making some... Some stone and stuff. Let's get our stone mason up and working here. I don't even think the stone mason needs workbench right off the bat for like simple stuff. So, oh my goodness, I'm glad we're clearing out some of these trees too. It's really woody. <laughs> it's really woody around here. Okay, so let's see resources and let's go to like not raw stone. Let's see where do we go to make actual stone? Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of armor options. And our forager is doing a great job getting all types of berries and wheat and just like all this wild wheat out here in the middle of nowhere. He's doing a great job and some wheat seeds too. That's going to be good for later if we want to have like a little, uh, like herd some animals around and stuff like that. So he's pretty far from camp. Hey, here's a boar. <laughs> hey man, you want to you wanna fight it? You want to fight that boar? I guess I guess he's, he's on like a wheat frenzy right now. Okay, so you go on your wheat frenzy. See what's going on back in town here. I, I like this this uh, this camera angle. <laughs> I like just spinning around like this. Better than the RTS style, I feel. I, I get more immersed. But okay, so still chopping the trees here. I gotta make sure everything is, is set here. What are you, what are you doing, sir? What are you? Phineas, what are you up to, builder? Oh, that's right. That's right. Building. Uh, let's get some work tables here just in case we need them. I don't think we need them right now, but uh, yeah, let's get the workshops. Let's get a timbering bench so we can make some... Some uh, some decent some decent wooden planks out of uh, the wood that we out of the raw wood that we get. So let's put that like right there. Why not? And then let's also get like a regular workbench that I think the uh, carpenter uses. So so at least they'll have this stuff, and yeah, they'll they'll be able to use it. This could be like a crafter's corner. Honestly, we can do it like this. I don't want to make the town too big at start though because I don't want to have to like you know work too hard building a wall. 
or too big of a wall. I mean, we, we're gonna expand later on. We'll see. Oh, we'll see how we survive and how everything goes. But oh, there we go, dude. That was fast. Look at all them. Look at all them logs. They look like pickles, kind of just like just chilling out. And then we got who's making this right now? You got the stone mason. Yeah, stone mason make that bench. Awesome. Okay, so now we got some basic benches for all types of stuff we want to make. And all right, so now what? Now what? Now we just now we just live happily ever after, right? We could designate a hall area, but I remember before, like, making halls, like, you know, it, it attracts a lot of attention. It attracts settlers, but also attracts monsters. I don't feel like fighting monsters right now. I feel like we're all just trying to, like, get by and survive. Uh, because we are, we are just lost in the woods right now. So, okay, I think the next order of business would be, yeah, making some walls. Oh, here we go. So not timbered brick. Let's make some field stone. Yeah, oh cool, we got like different shapes too. Oh, what the heck, man. Yeah, I just want like, I just want like regular... Oh, we just place it. Huh. Well, let's maybe do a little bit of... Where should we have our walls? I'm thinking maybe start them like right around here. Yeah, let's place like a wall right there. And just kind of drag it out over this way. We could always make it taller later. So yeah, let's pull it out like that. And see what see what that turns into. See how, how busy that's going to make everyone. <laughs> I guess our stone mason's gonna get on that. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Is he getting the stuff? I think he's getting the stuff. He's a builder. Oh, that's right. Builder's gonna go do it. I guess the stone mason's gonna make it. The blocks. I guess we'll figure it out. And nighttime is approaching. So I found out the builder goes ahead and makes some some of the blocks himself uh, that, that don't need like complex materials. So like this field stone that he's building right now only takes four stone. So he has a bunch of stone in his inventory, and he just uses that to make the blocks on the on the fly. When some of these other materials or these other building blocks, they take like like some processed stone, some timber uh, planks, and stuff like that. Then those things, I think, is what the stone mason and I guess wood chopper are gonna need to go ahead and put their efforts on on the workbenches to make so he can go ahead and build with it. But that's cool. At least at least we can start building some stone stuff, uh, like a little retaining wall. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Like just keep keep some of the bugs out, keep some of the boars out. Ao, ao boar. And Mr. Forging Man has dropped off all stuff. He's empty. Empty? Yeah, he's empty. Great. Wait, bro, wagon provides. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this wagon. Gives us some storage space for all these kind of tools and materials. Eventually, we'll build racks uh, for weapon storage and all this stuff later. All the construction crates. But this this wagon is is our life supply for now. And where is Aobor at? Aobor. <laughs> I like this guy. He's so cute. Oh, we should totally catch him. Can I click on him? Oh, I can totally domesticate domesticate him. Domesticate boar. Check. Yes. One day. Okay. Cool. So hopefully that's gonna stay there. So whenever we make like a herder. He's gonna find Aobor. Yeah. <laughs> unless, uh, oh crap, unless, unless, uh, our hunter kills him first. Because I do have him set on hunting boars. Just run away, boar. Run away. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay, so this wall's coming along very nice. Building it away. I think we got some other, uh, building options materials. Let's see here. Dig mine, objects, construction, <clears throat> walls. I think we have... Full timber. Oh, that'd be nice. Some wooden walls. Field stone. I thought we had some kind of other thing we could build. Field stone. Is that the only thing we could build right now? Pale brick. Great. Great stone. Yeah. Yeah, great stone. Wait, look at this. We can make like all types of... Oh, yeah. Embezzlements. Whatever. <laughs> Not embezzlements. Embellishments. Anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so good with words. So... Maybe we could use this around like the doorways, like around the entrance. We'll use like some great stone, like a different graphic for that. But I guess for now we'll keep doing field stone. We'll like wrap it around here. Let's let's get some field stone going this way. Uh huh. Like like maybe start here, and just kind of oh crap. Let's start. Yeah, there we go. Like that. We'll just we'll just have like walls walls be a growing. They be a growing here and there, and then one day we'll like connect them. You know, we'll connect them when uh when the time is right. This is a lovely evening though. What the heck are you are you peeing? Peeing on a tree? There's no tree here, dude. Get some privacy. And oh man, we just having like a good old goofy time here by the fire with Bunkai and, and friends. So uh I, I think this calls for a chair or some furniture maybe. Maybe let's make some construction. <clears throat> oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. Utility. Fence! Fence. That's cool. Maybe later. I I'm hopefully we're not getting attacked right now. <sighs> Scared the crap out of me. Just getting them berries. 
could have been like a bear or some wolves or something. I don't know. I, I guess we're getting lucky right now. There's no Bigfoots about. But you never know. We'll just have to make some chairs in the meantime. So train, walls, flooring, roofing. I don't want any of that stuff. I want some furniture. Objects? Doors? Friend, there we go. Okay. This actually used to be a lot harder to find this stuff. Now they have it all in one spot. This interface is better now <laughs> than before. So straw bed. Oh, we can make a straw bed. Yeah, we just need some... I think that's leather right there. I think that was leather. Wood chair. Oh, we can't make a wood chair. We need to make this like timber stuff. Okay, let's make some timber. Hello, sheep. I don't have a name for you yet. Maybe I'll we'll just call you sheep. Let's see. So let's get some timber. There it is, right in front of my face. Let's track it. Let's make like. Let's make like. I don't know. Let's make like. Let's keep like that much. That looks good. Let's give our give our uh, who who does this carpenter? Oh yeah, give our carpenter something to do, Mr. Mr. Bojack. It's gonna be easier once you guys all give me your names. <laughs> it's just gonna be better. Because I don't want to start using their actual like, game names right now because I don't want to get attached to them. I don't want to use like your guys' names. But, okay, so, uh, yeah. Oh. There's the timber. There he goes. He's a timbering and he's smacking away with that stuff. Good. All right. So, what a lovely, what a lovely place. Hello, Sheepington. Sheepington? Ah, we'll figure it out. When the moment strikes, it's right. So, okay, I'll see you guys next time. Just hanging by the fire with Budcat.